Namaste friends, I am Jayalakshmi Ravi Chandran signing in on behalf of Magic Needles. This is yet another Cal title Learning with J empowered by Magic Needles. Okay, and today I am with this beautiful crochet hook holder and this hook holder is specifically made for these ergonomic hooks and we are not joining anywhere with any other third yarn. We start with a yarn and we end it up. And I used around 100 grams, that is around one ball of 4 mm cotton yarn for this pouch. Okay, so what are the special stitches I have used here, I have done two rows of DCs together. Like DCs, I work two rows together to get this width. So that is one special stitch I have used here. So there are videos wherein uh, uh, you work backward and forward several rows. Instead, we do it at one go and I will be explaining to you how to go about it. And for this particular pouch, I have chained 37. That is, I needed 36 stitches on this side. So, it is left to you. If you want to increase, it should be an even number of stitches that you end up with in this width. So for me this height was enough for to hold my clover hook so I have made this size and if your hooks are a little longer you can use you can make the number of stitches as per your requirement that is this width you can increase. Okay so to do demonstrate I am going to use this variegated yarn from magic needles. It is 100% cotton yarn. The spelling is different here. You may notice K O T T O N. It is not C O T T O N. This is their trademark and it is in house manufactured yarn. Okay, and it is hand dyed too. And I will be using either F or G hook, that is 3.75 or 4 mm hook. This is recommended for this particular pouch I will be using F hook because I am a little loose crocheter loose knitter like you can say my stitches are little on the looser side if you are a tight if your hand tension is tight you can all go with 4 mm hook fine so first chain 37 I don't start with a slip knot, I never start with a slip knot, I start with a chain and I end up over there. Then I will meet you at the end. I have made 37 chains. Now. make an SC in each of the next stitches. I am going to work in the back bump. So this row is the foundation SC row. Alternatively, you can start with 36 chainless foundation single crochets too. Even that is an optional one. I am just showing it for beginner level. I am showing you this method. I will meet you once I finish the row of SCs. I have made 36 single crochets here. And the second row is a very important row that is going to make your pockets for the hooks to be held okay second and third rows are the repeat rows for this I am going to work two DC rows together so I am going to chain four and turn one two three four and turn yarn over insert your hook in the second chain one two from the second chain from the hook yarn over and then insert your hook in the next stitch second sing single crochet here not on the very first one pull out a yarn 
yarn over pull through two once, yarn over pull through two twice, yarn over pull two pull through two thrice, yarn over pull through two four times. So your this width is made for hooks to be held. Next again yarn over once as you do for DC and here you see this loop and this loop here. So you are going to insert your hook into this loop not this side loop. Okay. So yarn over, insert your hook here, yarn over, you are not pulling out anywhere and then you will insert in the hook in the next stitch in this SC, yarn over, pull through your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Like this you will be doing for 16 stitches, 16, uh, you will work 16 two rows of DC together normally. I will show you one more time, yarn over and not inserting in this but you will be inserting here. This is not where you are inserting, you will be inserting your hook here. Yarn over, insert your hook away from that horizontal loop, yarn over, again insert your hook in the next single crochet of previous row, yarn over, pull through that you will get a loop there, yarn over, pull through two one time, yarn over, pull through two second time, yarn over, pull through two third time, yarn over, pull through two four times. So this way you will be working two rows of double crochet together. So yarn over, insert into the loop that is away from this loop. yarn over, insert in the next single crochet, yarn over, pull out, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through twice, yarn over, pull through twice, yarn over, pull through four times. So I will meet you when I finish 16 such DCs. Uh, you will be counting the very first one also. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sets I have finished. I need to finish 16 sets. sets. I will meet you when I finish 16 two DC rows together here. Okay. I finished 16 stitches, 16 two row DCs. From next onwards, the next 20, we are going to do the same but we are going to place our stitches in the back loop of the single crochets of the previous row. Yarn over, insert your hook in the loop that is away from here, from the center loop here, yarn over and insert in the back loop of this. We are working in the back loop here and then we will be working in the front loop to create the pocket. Then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So similar way you have to continue till the end, yarn over, insert in the far end loop here, yarn over insert your hook in the next, sorry not in the next, the back loop, yarn over pull out, yarn over pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Again yarn over, insert your hook here, that is the loop that is away from here, yarn over, insert in the next back loop of the previous uh, row single crochet, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So continue till the end, you should have 20 such stitches when you come here, 16 regular and six and 20 in the back loops, I will meet you at the end at this particular point. I have placed my last two row DC in the last uh, back loop here and here this turning is a little tricky. So yarn over, now henceforth you are going to work in the front loop to create the pocket. So yarn over, insert your hook in this particular loop, yarn over, now you will insert your hook in the front loop, turn it like this, insert in the front loop and you will complete your stitch. 
so henceforth you will not be picking your picking up this but you'll be picking up the other one only yarn over insert your hook here it's a little on the tighter side yeah yarn over and then the next front loop so it will come like this so again yarn over insert here yarn over in the next loop hold it in the comfortable way you can and work yarn over here not here sorry yarn over this loop will be hidden so you have to pick up here only then it will join properly yarn over one time yarn over pull through two second time third time fourth time so we will not use this side loop at all we will be using we will be picking up only this loop so yarn over as we do for a dc then insert here yarn over for making the second dc and then insert in this front loop here yarn over pull out yarn over pull through two times sorry first time yarn over pull through two second time third time fourth time so this is how the stitch is being formed so it is formed like this and it is formed like this it will rest like this so you can see how it is resting only the reverse side of the dc2 rows will be making your pockets you will see that it is the other right side is actually inside this pocket yarn over insert your hook in this just hold it nicely and insert in this loop yarn over insert in this front loop pick up this row is very important this is a repeat row we will be using this row for creating the pocket this row and the third row they are very important yarn over insert your hook here yarn over again in the next like this so i will meet you when i finish the 22 row dcs in the front loop place your stitch marker in the inside loop of this 20th uh, dc that we did when we worked from here so this is with a specific purpose i will tell you how to why i have placed it there when i reach that particular point now i have finished 20 stitches uh, here let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 now chain one and turn and then insert your hook into these two loops of the very first DC and then this is the stitch you have worked in both loops together this is the stitch you worked in the back loop so insert your hook here and pull out a loop and make a single crochet and henceforth you are going to work in the inside loops of these two DCs so insert your hook here and insert your hook in this stitch pick up make an SC and then you confirm that all these stitches are aligned okay otherwise you will go wrong and you will have to rip open so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18 and 2 we have finished. So 20, that is fine. 
Now continue this till the end. So in the back, in this inside loop and pick up inside the, in, insert your hook here. Alternatively, you can insert in this and this together. That doesn't make a difference, but this will give a neat finish. That is why I am showing you this method. Insert here and insert in this loop. So at this point, you are very likely to go wrong. See that you pick up the loops that are just opposite to each other and that coincide that are that is the loops the loops you pick up should be of the dcs that are worked in the front and the back loop of the same single crochet i'll come and meet you at the end when i reach at this particular point i'll meet you here We have almost come to the end here. Just before this, we have one more stitch to go. I am inserting in this loop and in this loop. Make one SC here. And then this stitch will always hide and it will tend to make you go wrong. So that is why I have placed my stitch marker here. Now I need to pick up my stitch here and in the stitch marker stitch. Now I'll remove the stitch marker and in this loop. So I have got 20 single crochets done in the inside loops of the two sets of the DCs. This is how this will work out now. See, this goes in easily, even the bigger hook goes in easily. Next, chain 1 and turn. Now you are going to place one single crochet in each of the 20 single crochets. You will place your first single crochet in the very first stitch here. 1, 2, 3, 4. I will meet you at the end of 20 stitches. So in row 3, we are placing SCs on SCs here till 20 stitches. And when we come to this particular point, we are going to make double crochets because two SC rows will be to the height of a double crochet. So in the next 16 stitches, you are going to make double crochet stitches. Simple double crochet stitches, no two rows together at all. I will meet you at the end. I have placed my last DC here and henceforth we are going to repeat rows 2 and 3. Row 2 is 2 row double crochet together for 16 stitches normal way and the next 20 stitches in the back loop. And then you come back and work in the front loop 2 double crochet rows together. And then you work SCs joining the inside loops of the double crochet. That ends your row number 2. And row number 3 is simply working SCs over SCs for 20 stitches and then placing DC over the 2 row DCs for next 16 stitches. That finishes one part of our hook kiss. This is how your hook case will build up. So you need to do 1, 2, 3, 4 more repeats. I will meet you at the end of 4th fourth, fourth repeat. Okay, This is the same way you have to do. You have to now do row 2 and 3 repeatedly till you reach this particular end. That is till you finish 4 more times. You make 5. 
instead you can also make uh, six uh, pockets or seven pockets as you wish otherwise you can make uh, this five sets repeated three times to make a trifold one also it's all up to you to customize your uh, pouch i did it for 10 hooks and in this i can accommodate 10 more hooks normal uh, aluminium hooks i can accommodate in between okay so and this also the thinner hooks i can keep two hooks together here so i made like this this is what i'm demonstrating the rest you can customize as per your wish i'll meet you when i finish and i reach this particular point i have completed four more pockets uh, to complete four more pockets we had to repeat rows two and three four more times so two three four five six seven eight nine ten in eleven and for the twelfth row we have completed eleven here with the dc on the last one twelfth row chain one turn your work and place one sc in each of the 36 stitches I'll meet you at the end of this 12th row and tell you what to do next. We've completed row 12. For row 13, chain 1 and turn and single crochet in back loops of each stitch and it should give you 36 single crochets in each of the back loops. I'll meet you at the end. At the end, you need to chain one and turn. I'll meet you at the end here. At the end of row 13, place your stitch marker in the front loop. At the end, chain one, turn your work. Place an SC in each of the 36 stitches. This is row 14. We have completed row 14. At the end, chain 1 and turn. And for row 15, make single crochet in the back loop of each of the SCs of previous row. Sorry. Row 15, you make one single crochet in each of the back loops. So, you should have 36 single crochets in back loops. So, once completed, place your stitch marker in the front loop of this stitch here. Chain 1, sorry, turn your work. For rows 16 to 25, you are going to repeat rows 2 and 3 alternatively. So, it is a repeat of 2 rows, row 2 and 3. So, chain 4. Because we are going to work 2 DC rows together here. Yarn over, insert your hook in this uh, stitch, yarn over, insert in the next SC here, complete your DC. So, so first in second is done yarn over and you will not insert here the loop behind here behind this inside this you will insert just yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch pull up and you will be repeating rows 2 and 3 for row 16 to 25 i will meet you at the end of row 25 i have completed row 25 and may after making five more pockets here and uh, this particular uh, pouch i am going to extend it for five more pockets and i am going to sh demonstrate both how to go about with single fold 
and how to go about with at another fold so this i will be continuing as a three uh, three part uh, crochet hook holder that means this hook holder will hold 15 hooks I had already completed uh, this. Both are of same size, same uh, same thickness yarn, same cotton yarn, and same uh, hook. So, since I'm going to do this uh, with uh, three parts, I'm going to keep it aside for now, and show you how to go about completing the single fold crochet hook holder first. Thereafter, I'll be taking up the double fold crochet hook holder. Okay. After completing 25 rows, the 26th row is a very simple row. You just have to chain 1 and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 36 stitches. Row 26 and 27 are both 1 single crochet, placing 1 single crochet on each of the 36 stitches that we have on this side of the crochet hook holder. I have completed row 26. Now chain 1 and turn and place an SC in each of the 36 stitches across. completed row 27 for row 28 chain 1 and turn place your first single crochet in the back loop of the very first stitch here and one single crochet in each of the back loops of the previous row stitches We have placed the last single crochet in the back loop of the last SC here. Now it's time to place our stitch marker. Take your stitch marker and you have to place your stitch marker in the front loop of the last SC that we made. We made the last SC in the back loop of this particular stitch here. So here we have to place a stitch marker. Place it and now turn your work. Henceforth, we are going to work the back part that is the front cover so that we will be covering up in the next part of the video. That is the second part of the video. Now, if you are working on a single fold crochet hook, go ahead with these set of instructions which I am doing with the pastel pista green. Else, you need to follow the set of instructions I'll be giving you for this particular piece. This particular piece, I'm going to make it into a, a crochet hook holder, which will hold 15 hooks. That is, we need to make one more set, uh, one more panel. And to make the panel, what happens is, now when we fold it like this, this will get folded on top of this. So here, at this particular point, we need to have extra space. So, to add that extra space, I am going to show you a different type of stitch here. Here, after row 25, we need to create a larger spine. So, row 26 is going to be same as row 12, what we did here. So, turn your work after chaining 1, turn your work, place a single crochet in each of the stitches on all 36 stitches it's a simple single crochet working under both the front and the back loop of the V 
taking both of both the loops underneath your hook you work your single crochet normal single crochet i'll need to at this particular end here i have completed row 26 row 27 we are going to do like row 13 back loop sc so that we get a turning effect here for the spine so chain one and turn the very first stitch is back loop sc in the very first uh, sc of the last row so at the end you will have 36 back loop scs for this particular row So continue till the end, I shall meet you at the end here. I have placed my last SC here in the last uh, stitch of the previous row. Now it is time to place a stitch marker. Take a stitch marker and place in the front loop of the stitch that we made in the back loop. The last stitch that we made in the front loop here, you need to place your stitch marker here. Now chain 1, turn your work. We have finished row 26 and 27. Now row 28, we are going to make a DC row. Here to start a DC, you can either start with chain 2 or you can already, you can place a standing DC. So this is normal way we will work. 1, 2, 3, 4, so this DC we are going to have 36 DCs over here. Once I finish placing my last DC, I will meet you at the end over here. Now we have finished the DC row. Next we are going to do the back loop SC, this row. Chain 1 and turn. Place your first back loop SC on the very first stitch here. And one back loop SC in each of the next stitches. I will meet you at the end here. Yeah, for row 29, I have placed my last. SC in the back loop of the very first uh, DC or the turning chain that we make here. If you had made three chains and turned, then you should make your back loop SC in one loop that is a loop facing the back of the third chain. If you have done a standing DC here, then there should not be any turning chain over here. Just do the turn DC and work all DCs for the row 28. Then work back loop SCs for row 29 and place your SC in the back loop of the last stitch and this front loop will be little hidden. You should pick it up correctly and in this particular front loop you should place your stitch marker. So this is where uh, these stitch markers are very important. Uh, uh, these points are very important because when we come back and uh, work back we are going to join the back panel to these places. So these you should be very careful enough you know, when you place your stitch markers. So we have repeated row 12 to 15 as rows 26 to 29 but only difference in row 14 we have made a DC here. Now if you place your crochet hook holder like this, this will come here and one more layer will go on top and you will have proper ease in the spine. Alternatively, instead of DC, you can uh, go about making an SC row, a slip stitch row and an SC row that is row 28 can be split as SC slip stitch SC rows and then continue with row 29. So that way also it will give a nice finish here 
to make it easy for the beginners, I have done the DCs here. Thank you friends for watching. We shall meet in the next uh, <coughs> part and uh, I'll tell you how to finish off the third thing. Third, uh, third repeat is henceforth that is we have finished row 29. So from 30 to next 5 pockets you need to repeat rows 2 and 3. So that will be Thirty, thirty-one. All these are rows two and three. Repetition of rows two and three. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. So you need to repeat these rows, and at the end, we'll I'll tell you how to go about in the next part. So complete up to row 39 if you are working with uh, 15 uh, hook holder and complete up to row 29 if you are working with the single fold hook holder. Thank you friends for your patient watching. Shall meet in the next part. Thank you.